Man buys pet snail. Let the story commence. Craig went into a pet shop and said, Do you sell snails? Snails? No. You giant snails? Uh, you know, just uh, snails. Normal snails you get in a, like a garden. Aye, no, no. You just, you just get one in a garden. Said the pet shop. Oh no. Uh, I went. He went. All right. Ah, you're right enough. And the guy said, "I mean, if you, if it's giant snails, you'd want you want the you know, um, giant snail. How giant we talking? I'll show you how giant. Um, I don't know. Open up YouTube. Said the guy. here. I really want to keep Shrek on my hand too long even though my hand is wet because oh it's just not good for them so I'm going to transport him onto something oh which God. is uh, quite state of the art. I have an urge to lick her shell but I'm not going to because I don't really want a cash meningitis. <laughs> this is Shrek. My oh really? Huge, huge. I have an urge to lick her shell but I'm not going to because I don't really want a cash meningitis. Meningitis. Shrek, my huge female giant African land snail. I say female because I'm mine because she was found not by me but she was found abandoned by a woman who was driving on the road I think calcium slups supplement in and smooth in fact I'm gonna show you what a healthy snail shell looks a like fucking this is a healthier snail shell oh this is right in the sense of scale that, that, that way right look Remember everybody, remember everybody, as I've said before, you're the fucking thing that looks like a snail by the way, they were probably here before fucking we were, we're the snails. Um. They're older, they're probably, they're probably older than trees, they maybe are. Part trees with that fucking shell. So the, the pet shop owner said, like that. And Craig went, no, 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 just a, a normal snail. He said, your bestie, if you just look about in a park or something, you know, you'll, you'll be able to find it. What are they for? And Craig went, it's not your business. It's not your business. And Craig left. And the pet shop owner phoned up a pal and went, How's it going, Pat? You alright? Aye, aye. How's it going, John? Good. How can I help you? You're you, you looking for me or, uh, Um. Is it you still looking for that snake? We've still not got it in yet. If, you, if you're. No, it's no, it's no day with a snake. I had a, bo had a boy come in there. Um. He's wanting snails. Oh aye, uh, giant African land snails, commoner garden, common or garden, commoner, commoner garden, you're just looking for commoner garden, a commoner garden snail, aye, well you know how it is, swings in roundabouts, Uh And the guy said, right, so, I mean, for all intensive purposes, 
What is your phone in about? He was looking for snails. Normal snails. That's funny, that. But here's... So what are you tell me for? Uh, Pat, when I said what would he want them for, he just... He wasn't quite right, this boy. This boy wasn't quite right. When he left, he was heading to your neck of the woods. He said he was coming to my shop. No, he was just heading that way. He might see your shop. He might go, I'm going to come in. I'm going to go in. Just have a look. Do you know what? I think this is him now. He's looking in the window. What's it? What's it look like? Uh, got a hood up. Right, red hoodie. Red hood. That's him. Craig had a red hoodie on. What is it? What is it about him? He just, when I said to him, what do you want these snails for? He was like, it's not your business. Right. Well, it isn't in your business, John. I know, but it's the way you say it. See for yourself. I'll, I'll, I'll switch you later. I've got a customer. Yeah. Yeah. Hang up. Um, and Craig went into this guy Pat's pet shop. And Pat went like that. Hi there, how can I help you? I saw you slithering about outside there. I was wondering if you were going to come in. You're quite slow in coming in there. And Craig went, what? And Pat went, oh, nothing. Just a wee joke. A wee snail joke. And Craig went, how did you know I wanted snails? Have you speak with that last guy? And Pat went, you what? You want snails? What, what's that? You want a snail? No, how did you know I was wanting snails? I don't know what you're, what are you saying, son? Oh, nothing, doesn't matter. I thought you are somehow you knew that. Uh, you alright? Are you alright, son? Are you alright? Are you alright? Are you on that acid? And Craig went, no. Um, right. No, I just... I hope I didn't freak you out there. No, I just, I just saw you creeping about outside there. Saw you creeping about outside. I was wondering when you were going to, when you were going to snake, snake in. And Craig went, Oh, right. You, you just say that way every... Like, so, like, sometimes you might say to somebody, Oh, I saw you uh, beavering about outside there. I was wondering when you were going to... Um, like uh, people, are you going to if you're going to flood in with people because like, a, a, a like a, a beaver might cause a flood by a, a dam and then the dam I don't know. So you just set up with random animals. I don't know what you're talking about, son. I don't know what you're talking about. What is it you want? And Craig went, um, I'm looking. No, just just let me. But before you say whatever you've got to say, um. Just to let you know, I always like to ask what the person wants that pet for. Just a just a standard procedure. It's no, it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. What is it going to say? Oh, all right. Uh, Craig said, I'm looking for snails. And, uh, and Pat went, Giant African land snail. Okay, I'll have a wee look in the, the back. No, no, no. Just a, a normal, like normal snails. Common a garden. Just sort of commoners, a commoner's garden, kind of snail. I just the sort of snail you would get in a, a commoner's garden. All right. Um. And just as a matter of procedure, standard procedure. Uh, what do you want them for? I don't care. I just got to ask. I don't give a fuck. I just got to ask. Do you know what I mean? I don't even care. Government say you must ask. I don't care, I meant to write it down, I don't give a fuck. I meant to write it down about a paper or something like that, but it's just, I have to ask, because you could be one of these government spies, and if they go like that, we sent somebody in from the government as a customer, pretending to be a customer, and you did not ask them why they wanted the snail, you're shutting the business down, so I've got to, I've got to ask, I don't fucking care, son, I don't give a fuck. What do you want the snails for?
He said, I want to know... What it feels like if it if it if it creeps up my if it creeps up my it creeps what 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 are you you talking about up your the back up up your your back your back. No, in the fr in the fr in the front in the front yeah in the fucking front. You fucking what? I I just want to know what it's like if it, it creeps up at the, you know the front of my house. Um, is it? Oh, the front of your front. <laughs> 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 Science came before it for the fucking ambulance. And Pat died. The end. So it's kind of kind of like a snail assassin in a way. It was a guy that went about saying that sort of thing in order to kill a person. He was for the government. He was actually a snail assassin. They called him the snail assassin. The end. How do I know? I was good pals with Pat. I was a good pal that day. He had the whole lot in CCTV, Mike included. I wasn't that other guy. I wasn't John. Um, and see the person who came up with that snail assassin idea to begin with? They're probably not even here. Probably just drifted in. Just see this old wrinkly cunt. God, who's this cunt? And then they're away. And they're away. 